Mrs. Nye is our counselor here at Moat. And some of the words that I would use to explain her are caring, funny. She's a leader. Sweet, she's nice, and she's very pretty. Kristen has a very calm sense about her. Even when there's something happening that is pretty stressful in the school building. We really try to be as trauma responsive as we possibly can and utilizing brain science and how the brain regulates itself to inform our interventions makes this a really unique place to be. What I love about Kristen is she is always thinking of ways to kind of innovate. We have a lot more students to see more frequently. She's come up with a form that the kids can come and go in on their own and they can advocate for themselves. And it's purely relationship building fun and they want to. They want to give up their lunch or recess to come hang out in here. And I think it goes such a long way into normalizing mental health and making it okay to not be okay. She's always taking trainings. She's always providing new resources. She's always just building upon what she's already given us and giving everybody new resources and opportunities. Kristen is the head of our problem solving team where teachers will just ask for a little bit more support on ha handling a student at both academically and emotionally, behaviorally. And we collaborate every Tuesday with teachers to give them resources and strategies to use to best help them. Kristen is one of our lead counselors for elementary school. She's part of the team that plans and implements professional development for the district-wide counselors. So she is always somebody who steps up and says, yeah, I'm willing to do this. So many of our students, especially in the last three years, have really struggled with social interaction and emotion regulation that bringing in breathing techniques, doing guided meditations with them, just really getting themselves to a place where they can feel comfortable in their own skin has, has been the shift the last few years. She uses data to individualize all of her students' needs and give them exactly what works. First and foremost, you have to want to be better all the time. And I can be great, but they're still always better. It keeps me invigorated as I learn new and exciting things. Like I'm excited to come to school to implement new ideas and creative interventions. And one of the things that Kristen is super big on is our school counseling plan, which is all of the preventative things. So we do class lessons. We're in each class twice per month, doing lessons on skills that we think all students need. So those can be things, you know, as simple as manners and being kind, all the way up to, you know, cyberbullying and how to, per, you know, use your technology responsibly. If I am having a, an issue, something that I need to talk about, I come to her and come hang out here in the Zen Den because it feels nice, but also she gives a calming presence and she sits and she'll either let you sit and stew over it for a little bit before you're ready to talk or she'll ask you like, do you want the advice? Do you want to talk it out? And let's let's figure out how to get you, you know, kind of regulated back to normal and ready to get back to work. Something that she does really, really well is building rapport with students. When I'm having a bad day, I go to the Zen Den and then go and talk with Miss Nye. She'll, she makes me feel happy because she lets me put in front of her fidgets to calm me down and that stuff. She's definitely advocated for counselors and I have personally benefited. So before it became into law that, you know, we had to have counselors to meet certain ratios, I was able to come here to moat. We were one of the first elementary schools to have two counselors because she used data to say, like, we need another counselor here to support our students well. And that's just one of the advocacy pieces that she's done. I think the biggest takeaway for me is that school counselors are leaders in education and an integral part in education. We are our best advocates and nobody knows our jobs like we do. And it has changed so much since what even all of people my age had. We aren't guidance counselors anymore. We are school counselors. We prepare the whole child, socially, emotionally, behaviorally, academically, and career so that they can be the best that they can be. And we have to do the hard work to make sure everybody knows how awesome we are.